Ladies and gentlemen, it is your lovely host here, Team Array. How's everyone doing out there on social media on this Friday's edition? I am doing very, very well. This Sunday is the day hell in a cell. So, no further ado, I'm going to do my predictions. So, sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some eat, grab some drink, now if you don't like that, maybe you want to check it on and hear my Thoughts, my opinions on the Hell and Cell predictions. There's only a few matches are confirmed from the WWE, and tonight is WWE SmackDown, SmackDown. So you know they're gonna add more matches. There's no way in hell there's only four matches on the show. That'd be very, very stupid. Another thing is, speaking of stupid, why in the hell did WWE change the Hell and Cell cage? You know, it used to be was silver back in the day, many, many moons ago. For I don't know nowhere, they turned the red. It doesn't really fit it. I think they just copy off the TNA when TNA used to have a cage, not Hell in a Cell, but a cage is so stupid. Does not really fit. Fit very dumb. I really prefer um, the original, but whatever. I'm assuming the original is in uh, the W warehouse somewhere. With all the other stuff they used back in the day. All the props. So that's it. So right now like I said before. There's only four matches are confirmed. From the WWE. You know probably there's other ones. Are just rumors until tonight's confirming. I don't understand. Why they can't make this all confirm. By time Hell in a Cell rolls around. I don't understand that. They did a last preview. Uh, Clash of Champions. Probably because it's all championship matches. That's why. So the first match will be the pre-show. I hate pre-show matches with the passion because no one does not take that match seriously. Jeff Hardy versus Elias. Elias just came back from injury. Right now, once again, he's healed. I'm not a big fan of Elias because he is the current era of the Hong Kong Man, just a different version of the Hong Kong Man because, you know, Hong Kong Man always uses a guitar I don't know if he ever played it, but he just used it as a weapon. Elias doesn't use it as a weapon. Well, he does, but not to the head, just the back. Because if they do it in the, you know, in the forward, you get an automatic concussion. So they want to make it safely, you know. So probably he's going to really want to push Elias. So I don't give a darn if they push him or not. I'm not a big fan of him. He just needs a new gimmick. Hands down, just give her the instrument, you know, all that good stuff, you know. I don't know if he does the, the walking Elias thing, I don't remember. That was so lame, it's so pointless. So, I hopefully Jeff Hardy wins, but on the other hand, they want young guys to win. And Elias, he's way younger than Jeff Hardy. I like Jeff Hardy, but I guess he's very frustrating with the company because... They had put a ring to the, the ladder last period. So he might be done with WWE or not. It might just be a rumor. He should just retire. He's getting up there in age. He has nothing to prove. You know, that sucks. He, he never won the Royal Rumble. He never won the Money in Bank. And he's just a high flyer. And he's a great athlete, but he needs to hang it up just like his brother. But, but they're just me. Anyway, watch. He's going to be done with WWE and go to... um. Impact, not impact, um, AWA with his brother, just wait. It's just bound to happen. Anyway, so Jeff, Jeff Hardy will win. The first match to kick off Hell in a Cell will be a Hell in a Cell match. I think this is kind of stupid because you'll need to have Hell in a Cell match right away. Usually they do it very close at the end of the show. Okay, WWE SmackDown Women's Championship is up for grabs. Bailey versus Sasha Banks. Usually in the past, Sasha Banks turned on her friend, but not this time around. Bailey turned on her friend. Sasha Banks isn't they both heal? So what's the point of this, you know? Last time they tried to do this match, one on one, it was at WrestleMania, I think it was in their New Orleans. They pulled a plug and they put these two ladies in the women's bar royal. That was so dumb, you know. But this is a very good build up. I think Sasha Banks will win. By disqualification. Well, not disqualification. 
uh, because there's no disqualification in hell. So, well, they did it last time. Seth Throne versus The Fiend, and then people were pissed. So, I think Bailey will lose their belt because she had that belt so long over a year already. So, it's time for a new champion. It will be a very good match, and I think this is will end the feud. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see what W is going to go with this. So, I don't know if they're going to go outside of the Hell in a Cell or just stay inside of the Hell in a Cell. I really wish they go outside on the top and let the ladies take a huge bump. But that'd be very, very risky. Usually, just the guys do that. So, that'd be a huge Hell in a Cell moment if one of those ladies fall off the top of the, the cage. Like Mick Foley did. Shane Mack and other people did it, you know, but no ladies have ever done it. They did, they did it on the side of the cage, but they never did it on top for some reason. I guess they don't want to injure the women. If the guys could get injured, why can the women? I don't understand that. Anyway, I think Sasha Banks will win this match. I think she will dominate this match. We'll see what's going to happen on Sunday. It better be a, better, be a better, very good match. Next match, another Hell in a Cell match, but it's another stipulation, an I Quit match. It's an I Quit match slash Hell in a Cell. I think that's kind of stupid. It should be one or the other, not two stipulations in one match. Dumb. W, you guys are so whatever. Okay, it's the W Universal Championship match. Once again, a rematch from Clash of Champions. Cousin versus Cousin. Roman Reigns versus... Uh, Jay Oso, Paul Heyman, with him. You know Roman Reigns will beat the crap out of um. Uh, Roman Reigns will beat the crap out of Jay Uso, and Roman Reigns will still be your Universal Champion. He's gonna hold that belt until Mania, probably. Jay Uso has no chance in hell. Sorry, probably be some good spots. I don't think I'm bringing tables. This would be probably the main event. It will go the distance. So, I'd be surprised if Jey Uso won, but it is not his time. So, Roman Reigns will still be your Universal Champion. I like his heel run. Next match is the W Championship match. Once again, Hell in a Cell. So, they're going to have three Hell in a Cell matches. That is over killing it. They should just have two. And then the W Universal Championship it should just be an I Quit match. You guys agree? Disagree. They did that before, I think in 2010. Or 11, they had three Hell and Cell matches at Hell and Cell pay -view. That was very stupid. Now they're doing it again. So, Drew McIntyre versus Randy Orton. This view is going way too long. I really want to see Drew McIntyre retain his belt, but he has been retaining his belt over Randy Orton a couple of times. So, Randy Orton will be your new WWE champion. I know, isn't that sad for Randy Orton's age? I guess there's rumors going around. Drew McIntyre lose, and the next time he will get his opportunity, it'll be in front of thousands and thousands of fans. So whenever he wins it again, he will get a better reaction than he did at Mania. So we'll find out. And probably Randy Orton will keep that belt until next fall, I'm assuming. It all depends how W wants to book him. So I really don't want to see, I don't know whether John Cena versus Randy Orton that feud was very, very boring. Especially in 08, 09. It sucked. It really did. So, I don't know what other matches they're going to book. Maybe Big E will be, have a match, single match, with probably with Sheamus again. Um, I don't know. Maybe the New Day will defend their tag team belts. Who knows? You know, there's only three matches are confirmed. Sorry, four matches or for, from our confirm. I don't know why in the hell they did not have this whole um, pay per view confirm already. That makes no flipping sense. I know, I know tonight's SmackDown, but they could have a lot of matches way, way in advance before this Sunday. That makes no flipping sense. I don't understand that. And probably they're gonna have ma uh, more matches tonight, and probably more matches on Sunday. So my predictions be all messed up. But that's okay, I'll do the review on Sunday. I'll do the review on Monday. So look out for the return wrestling news later on tonight. Have a good one, and thanks for watching. Let me know if you can watch the pay-per-view or you're going to skip it.